All right, so a drone exploded right over the Kremlin. Putin blames Ukraine for it. Ukraine denies it. The Western media say that Russia was behind it and it was a false flag event to try to escalate the war. I don't buy that because the war is pretty much escalated as much as it can be without using nuclear weapons. So the only thing left to do is to use nuclear weapons. And Vladimir Putin doesn't need to convince anybody or sell anybody on the idea of using nuclear weapons. The whole world is against him anyway. So who really benefits from an escalation of the war? The ones who benefit the most are the ones who drive U.S. foreign policy. And that's the U.S. military industrial complex. They would love nothing more than for this war to be escalated to the max. Because ultimately, they want to send U.S. troops there. They want NATO forces to go into Ukraine and into Russia and start a full-fledged war and have this thing drag out for the next 20 years. In the short term, we know that the military industrial complex and U.S. foreign policy loves to do regime changes. Saddam Hussein, Gaddafi, they tried it with Assad in Syria. I'm sure that they would love nothing more than to remove Vladimir Putin. This whole drone attack over the Kremlin is very reminiscent of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline attack. It's the same exact situation situation. Russia blamed Ukraine. Ukraine denied it. Western media said that Russia blew it up themselves. And then a couple months down the road, we find out, oh, you know what? There's actually zero chance that the Russians blew up their own pipeline. And it was probably somebody in the West, probably most likely a pro-Ukraine group who was probably backed by the U.S. So that's where we're at right now. Remember, the United States is not a democracy or a constitutional republic. It's an elected monarchy. Keep in mind, sharp, don't listen to media. This flip the script podcast out.